my gosh, guys, it is so... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're making a low carb version of the Starbucks Lemon Loaf. So we're gonna drive off to go get a slice so we can compare. We're finally back home. I cannot believe it was a mission and a half to find this little guy. We finally found the Lemon Loaf, and now we're gonna make the homemade version, okay? What we're gonna start off with is our almond flour. So we have our almond flour. Now let's go ahead and toss in our protein powder sweetener. Right now we're doing all the dry ingredients. Pro, uh, this is just our baking powder. Okay, and we're gonna give this a little mix just to make sure that all the dry ingredients are well incorporated and we have them evenly distributed. So here we have our avocado oil. Ooh. We have our huevitos, so just three little eggs. I like to use pasture-raised, but you're gonna use whatever you have on hand. Okay, and now we're gonna zest our lemon and then we're going to also use the lemon juice, okay? So you don't wanna go into the white part because then that gets bitter, but... Um, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm obsessed with lemon. I love lemon bars, lemon cookies, lemon everything. I actually have lemon bars on the channel. You could do like one, a full one or one and a half. I'm probably just gonna do two. Now we've zested our lemons. Let's go ahead and get the juice. I'm gonna say this is about two tablespoons, okay? And tossing it in. And last but not least, we're doing some organic lemon extract and this one is from Thrive. I love getting my extracts from Thrive because they're organic and they have the best prices. So um, once this is in there, I'm gonna show you some other little things that I grabbed from Thrive and um, they're having a, a special promotion this month. All right guys, and now check this baby out. This is our first time trying it out. Let's go ahead and see how. Ooh, look at that. It's actually really quiet. So let me show you the texture of our batter, of our pound cake. This looks gorgeous. Ah, oh, guys, it smells so good. I love lemon. So we're gonna end up using our bread loaf pan, sprayed a little bit of um, oil just to help our parchment paper stick, okay? So then you just place it in there like a little blanket. See, now it doesn't move around. For the most part, things don't stick to parchment, but I just like to always, always be um, extra careful because, you know, you want your cake to come out beautiful and not stick to the sides and stuff. So, for a little more. Now let's go ahead and pour our batter. Now, before you guys finish, make sure that your oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. So if your cake doesn't reach the top, it's fine. Don't worry because it is gonna rise. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bake for about 15 minutes uncovered and then we're going to cover it and lower the temperature so it doesn't burn, okay? So I'm gonna show you the steps, but right now let's go get it in and we're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. All right guys, so our loaf is in the oven. I told you I was gonna show you the products that I bought from Thrive. So of course the lemon extract is one. Um, their, their extracts are inexpensive, they're organic, and they're um, all clean ingredients. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. Let me take everything out so that you can see. But um, Thrive, I've been using them for over almost a year now. They're an online membership market. Everything gets delivered to your door. You're guaranteed a savings. Um, right now they're actually offering a 30% discount on your first box and you get a free gift. That's like over $25 value. So um, you guys, if you've ever thought about ordering Thrive, this month is it because they never, ever, ever offer 30%. This is just for like Christmas spirit. <laughs> they have like specialty ingredients like xanthan gum, obviously just like baking powder, almond flour, all your essentials. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. So make sure you check them out. And now let's go ahead and check on our lemon loaf. All 
All right guys, so we just got our lemon loaf out of the oven. I'm gonna let it set to cool for a few minutes and then I will show you when we're ready to cut it. And now we're gonna make a super, super quick glaze with a lemon from my garden. We have our powdered sweetener, two ingredients. Okay, so let's get our little spatula and mix. All right guys, so our loaf is ready. We've glazed it. Now it's time for the taste test. So remember, we do have the Starbox version. We have it here. I mean, we don't even have to open it, but I kind of do want to, just to. Smells lemony. This is what we have going on with Starbucks. Okay. And we're gonna place this little boy down. And then I'm gonna show you our homemade version that is low carb, all clean ingredients, super healthy, no sugar added. And here it is, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna take a bite like salvaje status because guys, I swear to you, I've been wanting to taste this and Orlando and Val are like, Myra, don't touch it. So let's go. gosh guys it is so good 10 out of 10 a hundred percent i mean okay bro it's so good guys how many of you love the lemon pound cake from starbucks let me know down below if you do you have to try this this is not only it doesn't only taste delicious but all the ingredients are clean, so you don't have to feel guilty about putting junk into your body. But the Starbucks Lemon Loaf has like over 60 grams of carbs, it's loaded with sugar. Ours has roughly about two. These are big slices, guys. This is not like a teeny tiny slice, okay? So if you can see that texture, the glaze, I put it on while it was still a little warm but I'm telling you, the glaze is on point. It's a combination of like sweet and tart from the lemon. I use Myers Myers lemon, which personally, I think it just like adds to the taste, but round of applause, Woo! it's so good. I cannot wait for you guys to make this. When you do, please come back, comment down below. Let me know how you, you know, if you made any tweaks, what did you think? Because I love going through your comments and just seeing what you guys think of my recipes. And for the recipe, I'm going to leave a link in the description below that's going to take you to lowcarblove.com where you're going to be able to print this recipe along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else on the internet. But before you go check out that recipe, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That's a way that you show me love in return and I know that you're loving my content and recipes. Guys, thanks again for being here with me. I really appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.